here from the Oracle SQL Developer. We look at the uh, database. It has a package called a workload. The workload uh, has two procedures. This basically is a read write intensive application. The PSQL package name workload and the procedure read only we do the range query, some query, order the range query, range distinct query. Read write, we will update, delete, and insert. Here is the uh, workload body, is a typical PSQL. Now we are going to run the uh, application. This is the uh, SQL which will run the uh, workload packages. Iteration equals 10,000. So let's run it. On the left, we have the uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager. It's now real time monitor the database. is still running now finished it took about 67 seconds and the uh, read only the tps which means a transaction per second about 495 and read write 10,000 times tps is about 149. Now let's uh, set up at the Oracle in memory database or we'll call the times 10 in memory database to run the same application to see how the performance can be improved. Let's start a new connection we call it a node catch db1 plls plls times 10 we have a dsm catch db1 oracle also we put plfs we do a test. It is success. Connect. Now we have uh, a connection to the uh, in memory database. Here we are going to create a uh, grid called a sample grid. Let's run the script. It's done. We it have a great name, sample great platform we are running on the Linux system. Now we need to create a catch group. We give a name ATW. It is a, a synchronous 
fight through and we also add a table this one the package will running against uh, the table called uh, SB test so apply We look at that we have uh, catch groups and also have a table. Now we cut the tables. Zero rows there. No rows. We need to load the data. We start an agent. So we also need to start the uh, uh, replication. So this will be a replication between email memory database and the uh, Oracle database. Now we load data, apply. The data has been loaded. You can see the data here. Now we use the uh, peer SQL to create a package in the in memory database. In memory database, we will see the package workload has been loaded. Let's run the uh, same application against the times 10 in memory database. Let's run it. It's done. It only took uh, about uh, 12 seconds. You look at the uh, read-only transaction per second the TPS, about uh, 3,472 transactions per second. Compare the uh, against directly against the Oracle database, about uh, 500 read-write to about TPS about 870. Let's run the application from the command line from both the Oracle database and the in-memory database. Plus. Run. It's running. As we know, probably it will take about one minute. So from the Oracle Enterprise Manager, we can see the workload.
It's done. Now we we are using the uh, in-memory database TTI as SQL. Which is uh, PLS dot workload here. And we do connect DSN, close catch DB1, ID, PMS, password, plus PLS, Oracle. Password PMS So we are logging in as the user PLS packages. You see one package is there. So same thing we are running this down. Now compared to from the database we only have 525 transactions per second for reader only. About 172 transactions per second for read write. But in memory database we have 3,000 almost 4,000 transactions per second. And uh, from the in-memory database, we have 800 transactions per second for read-write, compare about 172 uh, transactions per second uh, for the uh, auto database. So from here, we can see the in-memory database uh, increased the performance. It's almost uh, seven times. Thanks for watching.